Welcome to Meteor Gaming, and today we're playing Deep Rock Galactic. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zarel. Let's get to it. So today we're doing the deep dive codenamed Stony Crib. But before we get to that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. So let's get into it. Stage one of the deep dive has Swarmageddon as a modifier, as well as two dreadnoughts and two mini mules. Dreadnoughts, of course, are going to be on the train scanner, and you'll be able to see them as those big, giant red eggs. Crack them open, and you'll have to deal with a dreadnought. Now, the dreadnoughts are the boss-like creatures of Deep Rock Galactic where they have different phases and you have to deal with them with a little bit of a strategy. This time around we got the Hive Guard, which is probably one of the most uh, bullet spongy of, of all of them. It has a invulnerable stage, a shielded stage, and then a damage phase. And then of course, during the invulnerable uh, stage or phase, you have to deal with these Sentinels, which are little mini Praetorians take those down and then you get to the shielded stage, take out the shields, the little fronds or antennae that are on it, and then you can get to the damage phase. Do as much damage as quickly as possible during the damage phase to take it out. And then of course it'll go back to invulnerable and just rinse and repeat until you take them out. Now all the dreadnoughts are a little bit different uh, but like I said, I think the Hive Guard is probably one of the ones that's going to be uh, one of the more difficult ones, if for no other reason, because it's going to require a lot of weaponry. All right, now the Mini Mules uh, won't be on the train scanner, but you'll be able to hear and see them. Look for that green pulsing glow. Grab the legs and reattach them once you scan the mini mule they'll be on the terrain scanner so you can see exactly where they're at now swarm again of course means that every so often there's going to be a pod of swarmers that are going to come after you these little bugs that are annoying to take care of uh, for the most part you just use your pickaxe to take care of them but there's a lot of them so and they do surround you so you have to kind of take care of them look for them use your weapon if you need to now when you're repairing the mini mules, more than likely there's going to be some enemies coming after you at some point. Uh, right around the time that I pick up my first leg seems to be that's when there's a uh, you know small spawn of enemies that show up uh, to try to stop me. Alright, so the, all you have to do is once you get the legs attached, just repair it and then move on. Now once you have both of the dreadnoughts taken care of and both of the mini mules repaired, then you're ready to go. You can just call in the drop pod and make your way out. You can follow the mule or you can make your own way, depending on what you think. Uh, if you have an idea of how to get to it, you know, you can get there first. If you're not really sure or you're uncertain, you can always follow the mule back. It's whatever you want to do. Now, this is a good time to point out that the deep dive is a raid-like environment with three stages that you can do by yourself with your buddy Bosco or with up to three other players, either pre-made or match-made. You can absolutely do it by yourself, uh, but it will likely take longer and take a little bit more strategy, especially with this week's deep dive, and we'll get to that in a second. Now make sure you're keeping your eyes open for any gold nitra while you're doing the deep dive as well as when you're going back to the drop pod. Once the mule docks with the drop pod, door will open and you'll be able to make your way out. Done with stage one, moving on to stage number two. Let's go. Good job. Deep diving now.
All right, stage number two of the deep dive has Haunted Cave, two Dreadnoughts, and, uh, excuse me, four Alien Eggs and one Dreadnought. So, this time around, it is the, it, this is probably the most infuriating stage of the deep dive, uh, and the most infuriating deep dive in quite some time. If you're doing this by yourself, it's going to be very difficult because Haunted Cave, of course, means that there is a detonator that is invulnerable that spawns uh, shortly after you get in. And then, of course, we'll follow one member of your team around the level. Now, of course, the problem is, is if you're doing the deep dive by yourself, the detonator is always going to be coming for you. If it gets close enough, then it'll make a mini explosion, and then uh, you know it'll basically take off all of your shields and chunk of your health at the same time. So you have to really be on your toes, uh, not only looking out for enemies, but also looking to see where that detonator is at all times. And of course, you can't take it out. So that is probably the most uh, difficult part of it. Now, with this stage, because you also have a Dreadnought that you have to deal with and alien eggs, you have swarms of enemies which will pop up which you'll have to deal with, and of course you'll have to look out for that ghost. So there is a lot to deal with in this stage, and this is the stage that if you're going to fail, this is going to be the stage that it's going to happen. Uh, the stage is very uh, circular. It makes it very difficult to ditch the ghost. So if you are in a group even if it's only one other person. Have one person stay relatively close, just in the starting area, and have the uh, ghost detonator follow you around, just in a circle, just stay just outside of reach, and the other person go around the level and do the things that need to be done. That is the best strategy, uh, best strategy in general for the haunted a cave, but definitely in the deep dive. So if you're doing this by yourself, good luck to you. I wish you the best. Uh, if you're in a group, have one team member just going around, keeping that ghost busy while everyone else is dealing with the dreadnought and, of course, the alien eggs. Uh, this time around, we got the Arbalist and Lacerator. They don't have the normal uh, invulnerable, vulnerable stage like the others. They can share health, and they burrow, which makes them invulnerable. So keep an eye open for them, because they could be just about anywhere, and then take them down. Uh, but keep the health of both of them within about the same amount for each. Uh, so keep them more or less even because what will happen is if one gets uh, too much damage more than the other, then of course you're going to have a problem and you're going to have uh, the situation where they heal each other. Now I thought about it. Uh, I'm going to leave this stage of the deep dive in its entirety just so you can see uh, what you're up against if you're doing this solo. And like I said, if you are in a group the best strategy by far is to have one person in that starter area and just go in a circle round and around just outside of reach uh, the detonator the ghost uh, won't change targets as long as you are if you don't get too far away from it so if you're in with one other person or three other people you can keep the attention of the uh, ghost the entire time and it makes it so much easier now the alien eggs of course you're gonna get into that organic material and dig it out one of the problems with uh, well one of the problems in general but also one of the problems with this particular level 
Alien eggs have a chance of spawning a swarm, and even if you don't spawn a swarm, you're going to spawn enemies. Add that in with the regularly uh, designated swarms that show up, plus the Haunted Cave modifier, and it makes it very difficult. Like I said, if there's going to be a stage that uh, takes you out, this is going to be the one in this particular deep dive, uh, but also in general for any uh, deep dive within memorable history. So uh, if you're going to skip a deep dive week, uh, you know maybe this would be the one, but if you're hardcore or you're like I always do the deep dive it shouldn't be a it's never been a problem this one may be a problem now of course one of the reasons to do the deep dive is for matrix cores get those cosmetics the weapon skins and of course overclocks for the weapons uh, that's the big reason to do it and of course you get some experience and gold as well or credits as you're going along grab uh, the gold because that'll turn into credits at the end of the deep dive and then of course nitra will help you stay flush with ammo and grenades along with it and you're definitely going to need it uh, in the first two stages alone so we'll let you uh, see what Stage 2 has in store for you if you're solo, and then we'll pick it up at stage number 3. Bosco! Yeah. 
Molly! Help me with the minerals here. Damn. So long, suckers! Give me some light, right here. Come here, you fly, <laughs> I need a damn minecart on legs. Where is it? for Molly. Getting supplies! Yeah, give me some sugar. Shield charged. Help me mine this. Eliminated! Where is that damn mule? in the mule.
Transport support, now! yet. I've got a zip line ready here. <laughs> Covering fire! Where is that damn tin can? Stay by my side, boss <gasps> Go! Light! I got the deposit. Bosco! Rock seriously need to invest in some better equipment.
Excellent. Drop pod inbound. Deep dive stage wrapping up. Drop pod arrived. Mule is returning to LZ. Drop pod departing in T-minus five minutes. Take. I'm taking some of the ammo. Ooh. Yeah. We better hurry. Shield charged and ready. Successfully retrieved. Make it snappy, team. The drop pod won't hang around forever. Drop pod departing in T minus four minutes. Nice work once again. Diving to the next stage. All right, on to stage number three, the final stage of the deep dive. This time we have no modifiers, which is fantastic. And then we also have crystallized morkite and two mini mules. So just like the first stage, we have two mini mules. And of course, uh, you know, the morkite, you're gonna look for that blue-gray glow in the level and just dig it like you would any other mineral. Drop it in the mule and then move on. If you have dark morkite uh, brew before you start the deep dive, this will make it very, very quick uh, as you'll be getting bonus morkite for each crystal that you pick up. Deal with the enemies as they show up. Uh, you will have swarms that will show up from time to time. Uh, as long as you're moving along at a good clip, you should only have to worry about a few of them. And of course, the bigger enemies are going to require a little bit more uh, attention and, of course, ammo. Bosco, now, the mini mules, of course, you're going to look for and listen for in order to find them as they're not on the train scanner. And then, of course, grab those legs. If you're not sure where they're at, you can scan the mini mule and they will pop up on your train scanner. Reattach them and then, of course, repair it. And once you have all the more kite and all the mini mules, then you're ready to go and get out of the deep dive. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check us out on social media and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Here. All objectives completed. Hit the button on the mule when you're ready, and we'll pick you up. Keep it together. Drop pod is en route. Yes. Bamboo taken. Here I come. Drop pod has arrived. Retrieving the mule. Drop pod departing in T-minus five minutes. Shield charged! Zip line done! Attack! Let's head for the drop. Drop pod departing in T minus four minutes. Go, go, go! Drop pod isn't waiting forever!
supplies are on the way. Resupply ordered. Supply plot requisitioned. Launching now. We ordered a resupply. Supply drop has been ordered and is on the way. <gasps> drop pod departing in T-minus three minutes. The mule is secured. Initiating launch sequence. Deep Rock Galactic thanks you for your good work. Drop pod will leave with or without you. Nitro has been withdrawn and supply pod is inbound. Stand back, supply pod inbound. Roger that, supplies are coming. That's one for the books. Retrieving escape pod. Rock on! Station.